Welcome to the channel, everybody. Well, we're back out here in the field uh, where I took down so many trees. And uh, this is kind of what it's looking like now. Uh, the other day when I shot the last video after I got the tractor back together, we, we had six, maybe seven trees, I think, on the ground. And uh, I got all, you know, logs piled up over there in the log pile. Brush down there in the hollow, stumps down there in the hollow, that way down there in the rot. Uh, it's set in raining. I'm gonna say about the about the time I was finishing up that evening. And, uh, these little old stump holes, they mud holes. You, you'll you'll sink up two or three feet in them things uh, uh, when you get in them. But it's we've had about three good days, three good sunny days down here. So it's dried out some. I'm hoping to get out here maybe this afternoon and and just uh, dress it up a little bit, make it look a little better. Uh, this little area down here, this is where I normally just plant my garden, just you know okra and uh, uh, squash and peppers and tomatoes and such as that. I do some container gardening over next to the shop I uh, wanted to get over here on top of the hill and 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 do uh, several rows of corn you know I figured we'll we eat corn chickens like corn just like you can do with corn just want to grow a good bit of corn put the little old farm all to work you know I got a farm all 140 now we want to put that thing to work so there you go that's what it's all about uh, over in the distance, I don't know if you can make it out, but that's that's a little orchard. We got 18 blueberry bushes and I don't know, six or eight peaches, four, maybe six apple trees, uh, a few plum trees, a few pear trees. I don't think I really get any fruit off of is, is really just the, the blueberries. I, I mean, right now my freezer is full of blueberries. Like we feed blueberries to chicken, but I, I eat blueberries about every day. They're pretty good. I love them frozen too, so you can put them up and they're great frozen, especially when it's hot. Just a good treat. Let's see what's going on over there. Lord, have mercy, Buster Pie is over there digging. Well, I cleaned out the chicken pen yesterday, so I got a pile of uh, uh, chicken manure and some other stuff over there. And uh, so that'll kind of work in some of my potting stuff, which I'm fixing to start potting some plants. Anyways, we're going to head in the shop. And I'm going to show you how far I got with the three point hitch on a farm off. It's one of those deals where it started out just looking like it was just going to be easy. And I'm not going to say it wasn't easy, it just. Uh, just didn't work like I initially planned. The, the geometry wasn't even close to working properly. I had this idea in my mind. I wanted to hook my, my bars up where the rear cultivators went in, just use the same holes. That just gave me a real odd angle on my lift. And it picked the implement up way, way up when I raised it. It still let it all the way down, but it just, this the geometry wasn't correct. So we ended up moving it to a, made a plate. You know, on 140, I guess, maybe Super A's the same way. You got a plate back here that uh, your rear cultivators push into. Got three bolts hold it on. So here's what I ended up doing. I'm gonna show you kind of what I started with. And I started with the links and these bars on both sides. And same thing over here, an adjustment bar and my sway bar the adjustments. You know, that little deal right there, half of it 
came all this right here. It was all mounted on a plate. The bars, this is where your uh, sway bar links hooked in. And then of course there was your upper link. And I had mine to do something kind of like this and pin it in there and that was gonna be a solid bar. That's just a piece of pipe right there, but I was mocking it up trying to make something that work and got it together and just didn't had had this piece U bolted to it. And uh you know, this hole was just way too far off where the bar was. Well this is what I ended up there. Worked out real good. I'm gonna try to get in here where you can see. Excuse me. Anyway, so I made that little old plate right there on both sides. And I don't know if I can pull that link arm off or not. I might can. There we go. There you go. So I made that little plate put the pin in and bolted it on the back side. There's a hole in the middle of the, the plate on the tractor. And I actually centered up on that hole. It just worked out fine. And, and then the top link, I just literally ended up making me some tabs, clean that bar up and welding it too. And, uh, and at the end of the day, it just worked out great. Uh, it's all, I mean, very removable. I mean, a couple of pins, and you know, just like everything farm on, you can take just about anything off. Uh, and some of it you can leave on there. I don't have anything that bolts up right there, so I figure it'll just stay on there. I mean, it'll, I'll probably take it off and paint it because I put all this stuff on there, right painted it, so it'll be look like rust in a little while. Uh, I do need to get longer bolts. Those are the original bolts. It has half inch plates. So I'm gonna find some bolts half inch longer. But it, it you know, I, I took it out there and drug the driveway with it yesterday. I don't think this tractor is gonna pull a lot of dirt, not no five foot wide uh, scrape blade, but but it uh, it done a good job dragging the driveway, which is something I gotta do. Uh, at least, a, you know, every other week or so. I got this. I got a, a rake. I got a little set of forks that can go on the back of it, which would be great for toting maybe a pallet around or something like that. It's just going to make my farm all a little more useful to me and keep me from swapping the uh, backhoe off the L48 as much. Um, and so that's it's going along pretty good it actually worked out i did have to rotate this upside down just because it was wanting to hit right there uh, so I, anyway that's how it all turned out I, you know to me it just turned out real real well I, i'm pleased with it i'm gonna go out there and set this off and and uh Put the forks on it, and I got a little aluminum box around here that uh, that the baby chicks are fixing to be their next home. Uh, give them a little more room. Uh, they're three weeks old, and they're probably uh, four or five times the size they were when we got them. Well, hopefully, it's just a little short video you'll enjoy watching. And if you got any questions about it, I mean, this, this plate was relatively uh, easy to make. I mean, it, it, I just, I took the plate off the tractor and laid it on top of some plate I had and marked it and drilled it and bolted it right up. So, uh, and then, like I said, the geometry was great. When I had it down there in the lower holes, it, you know, like right now you look at it from the side, you know, your lift arms are, are, are you know, they're a little bit below level, not much, but they would just be, you know, sticking up at a pretty good angle. So, you know, the geometry is real good right there. That works. Uh, works for me anyways. So, if you, anybody got any questions about 
how I did it. I mean, that would be easy questions to answer. It'd be easy to make some of these plates if I had the, had the metal to do it with. Now, that metal now is a whole nother deal. I couldn't find the plate exactly the right, so I actually took a piece of angle iron and cut one side of the angle off. And it was a lot of work getting the plate I needed, but I mean, I, I made it out of some scrap that was around here, basically. And I'm a little bit of a hoarder. I don't throw much away. You can kind of look around at all these little bins of all the junk that I've just hung on to over the years. And, uh, and then I got a 53 foot trailer over there that's just about the same way. This, Tell somebody, well, I feel sorry for my kids when something happens to me. I don't know what they're going to do with all this junk. I guess it's all scrap. And anyways, thanks for watching the channel. Uh, you know, like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. I, I generally like to hear from folks, see what they got to say. Uh, be nice about that. And uh, I don't know what the next video will be. I am building a little... Uh, hoop coop, but there's a million of them on there and I just copied somebody else's I may do one on the next one because I I got a couple of different ideas Don't know if it'll work out well or not, but you know, you don't know to you try uh, I hopefully will be uh, We'll be out there turning some dirt and putting some seed in the ground pretty soon once this March the 15th and and uh, you know, generally, generally you're planting around here on Good Friday. Uh, you know, why is that? I don't know what day Good Friday's on, but I mean, it's probably first or second Friday in April anyway. So, yeah, I got tomatoes and fixing to repot. Uh, pepper plants, it's uh, coming up. Got more tomatoes than I know what to do with. But I mean, when you go over to the store and you see these things for four dollars and 98 cents is what a, a tomato plant cost it at the at the local wally world and to, and 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 tsc and i'm thinking that's crazy you know buy you a three or four dollar pack of seeds and plant them and grow some so i've probably got 50 or 60 tomato plants, I'll be giving them to people when they get big enough to plant. All right, hope you enjoyed this little short video. It's just a little, like I say, not necessarily a how-to, but a how I done it. And, uh, and uh, so like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.